everybody, it's a Mips road trip. Welcome to my home. So we've made it down to the stadium about an hour before the gates open. We've just been meandering around. The Marlins take on the Mets today in a really odd time of day. Game time just after four o'clock. Gates are closed for another 30, 35 minutes. And it's hard to keep up with the regulations at Major League Baseball at this point because they did just change things this weekend for the Mets series. Masks are no longer required. Capacity is being increased to full capacity in most stadiums. The capacity at Lone Depot Park or Marlins Park uh, will be increased in like another two weeks or so. So they are still distancing people somewhat here. But as you can see, they're allowing bags now, which most clubs were not allowing bags because they didn't want security to be touching anything that you may have that may be infected. And there's the usual assumption of risk. If you get sick, it's on you. The Marlins will be using their legacy uniforms this weekend also, kind of paying tribute to their culture and history of Miami. We're just making a lap around the stadium at this point, flushing south in the house. In case anyone was really wondering, the home run, uh, structure, I don't know if that's the best term, that formerly was in the outfield here at Marlins Park, is now outside the stadium, so get a look at it. And now inside, the last couple of years, it's just empty spot. And by the way, today's game is sold out. We are going to have a packed house of Mets fans here. We've made it. In the gates at least. Here's some of the legacy stuff. We'll make a quick pit stop in the team store. That's cool. And they have the official hat, jerseys. The Sugar Kings. Hats, 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 hats. Tons and tons of Miami Mall and stuff. Dugout mugs. Oh, look at that umbrella. That's cool. You can clip it. Yeah, that's really awesome. All right, heading in finally. And it's a Jorge Alfaro bobblehead today. After about six rows of this ramp. Feeling it. Feeling it. We finally made it in. Mets warming up. Let's see what's going on baseball wise here. A lot of ball hawks here, a lot of kids. So Pete Alonso out today is on the DL. Sprained wrist. I get another one up. So we got some fielding practice going here. Awfully competitive. I don't think there's much hope for a ball, but we got a little bit of time. Alright, I think we've given up looking for home run balls or giveaways. We're gonna take a look around. Familia faves, hot dogs, pretzels, popcorn. One of the signature areas here at Mullins Park, Lone Depot Park, is the Bobblehead Museum.
still here doing meet and greets from the fifth inning on. Sweets, ice cream, and the view from center field. So the windows are down today. They can roll them up and the roof is closed. Budweiser bar in center. Color guard coming up here. Got the colors. When these windows are up, you're able to stand out here and you have a pretty awesome view of the skyline. Got a photo op over here. So there's a team store inside the stadium as well. There's some history of the Orange Bowl here with the Jets upsetting the Colts in Super Bowl III. Novacento, empanadas, sandwiches, ceviche. I want you guys to see this. You can get sushi at the ballpark. Would you eat sushi here? We got pincho, got burgers, skewers, bowls. Look at that pincho burger. Frozen drinks. The music is blaring in here. And the crew is getting the field ready. Our tickets, or the view from the cheap seat today, is gonna be up in that second tier. So the Miami Vice, basically just a strawberry pina colada. Biscayne Bay, there's a little live Q&A happening here. Obies, hot dogs, burgers, fries, usual fare. Miami's best pizza. At the park, that's the qualifier. It's the only pizza at the park, but it's the best. Fox Sports or Valley Sports. Getting ready for the pregame. Foul pole is closed. Top dogs. Hot dogs, sodas, and beers. And then the changeup probably has the best variety of food. Check that out. There's a Tostone slider. And then you have a grab and go. All right, we are ascending to our seats. Second level bar, not in service. We've got some sweets here. World Champions 97, 2003. Prime Burger. Endlessly walking. We're missing the band down there. Renteria is in here. Literally, that's where he lives. Gary Sheffield, the 97 World Champion Suite. Save the Chef, the Silver Slugger and the Gold Glove Suites. Glove, not glove. Finally, you can't walk any further. And so this is the view from the cheap seats today. Section 201, we're just to the left of the foul pole possibly in the area where we might get some foul balls hit to us. Granted, they would have to be massively hit foul balls. This is the first time that we've sat in a section above the first section in years. I know some people always must think I'm dragging Mary to games, but she's been with me thick and thin the Shea Stadium days, and we literally used to sit next to Jesus at Shea Stadium on the regular because we couldn't afford better seats. So I'm looking at it this way. The seats could be much worse. So we get a view of the field here, and I can see the Mets bullpen right here. So that's pretty cool. And the Marlins used to have a swimming pool in this area over here from the Clevelander. And I understand the swimming pool is covered over now and no longer in use. And that was a pre-COVID change. For those keeping track of the Mets, they are basically the replacements at this point. They have so many players that are on the injured reserve. Pitching today for the Mets is Joey Lachesi. And our favorite center fielder is playing today.
they're going over the rules. Don't throw things on the field. My God, it's Marlin's time. And we're almost underway. Wait a minute. Billy the Marlin's mask has the mouth cut out. Is he an anti-masker? What's happening here? Finally ready for the first pitch, Villar at bat. Oh! I got excited, I thought it might be a dinga. One pitch. Also, you notice behind home plate, no more fish tank. They've really stripped this park of any identity. It's kind of like a runner up now to Tropicana Field for any type of fun amenities. For the Mets, Cameron Maben getting a shot here in left field. Let's go Mets chant already taking place in the first inning. Flushing South is alive. And a foul ball over there. That's why we sat here. Dominic Smith coming up, swinging a heavy bat. He's got a 623 on base percentage right now. Oh! Oh! It's dropping down. The wind brought it back. <laughs> base is loaded now for the unlikely hero, Wilfredo Tovar. I'm almost ready to bet my house, my paycheck, and everything else that strike three is coming up here. Oh my lord, dude. He sucks so bad. It's so funny that they're playing Cool in the Gang Celebration. If you were a Mets fan in the 70s, they would play this at the end of every game that they would win. Does anybody remember Dave Kingman, George Foster? Those were the years. So while the Marlins are at bat, I need to tell you, Mary's favorite catcher of all time, Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza. Gary Carter. The kid, Mike Piazza, though, favorite catcher of all time for the Mets. Gary Carter did not even go into the Hall of Fame as a Mets. Mike Piazza. I will say this, when you come to the Marlins game, there is all kinds of metrics and information that you want to see all right on the billboard. There's so many teams that you go to that it's just focused on a player's picture or the current stats for the at-bat, but they include virtually everything that you need at a glance. As a fan that likes the numbers and, the, you know, it's appreciated. Then out in left field, you have all the information about the pitcher that's on the mound. And the Mets and the Marlins are in no race here to put any runs up on the board. Whoa, Dominic Smith hit it all the way to the Goya sign. But unfortunately brought in for the catch. I thought we had a dinger. Reese was robbed. At the end of three, the grounds crew is out here. The cheerleaders, dancers are on a rooftop filmed previously like across the street from the stadium. Marlins threatening with bases loaded. Here they get their pitcher at bat, two outs. This is what the crowd looks like. So everybody's still distance here for now. That's going away soon. And it is kind of funny how you can see just like the way the pods line up with each other up and down the rows there. And he struck him out. 
Heading back down to get a better view. This is what the plaza's looking like. Everyone milling around. Let's get a little bit of a better view up here. Not too shabby. So you could buy any ticket here and basically just stand in this first level behind any of the seats. Got a pretty good view right here, first base side. Let's give you a little bit better perspective of how many fans are actually here as well. Billy the Marlin in the crowd. He's heading down to intimidate Fargus at the bat. Oh, Fargus. I think he was pointing to his mask and saying he hates it. There's a joke here somewhere. Look at this view. Got this pipe hanging out over here. Lights in your face. If you focus down, you get a pretty interesting view. The Marlins have runners on first and second now. And what a bummer, there's a couple of balls in the bushes. Mets looking at a pitching change. Oh my God, Andy Bernard has made it to the game. The Nard Dog. And the Mets have made a pitching change. And we're over here now. One out, first and third. Kidding, he was safe. Let's check out the band. So all kidding aside, I thought he was out, but I guess we'd have to go back and look at the video. So heading into the eighth, the Mets down now, one nothing. Can you imagine putting the wrap on this thing? I mean, I can't even get a screen protector on my phone without getting bubbles on it. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, Metsy's off here with a walk. Valara, oh. Now pitching for the Marlins. Anthony, I caught you a delicious Bass. Let's see if he can keep the lead. Lindor up with a runner on first. Ball four. First and second now. Whoa! And a fan gets a souvenir. Dominic Smith coming to bat. Two outs. It looks like the Marlins might make a pitching change. And here it is. Let's go Marlins. Doesn't really have a ring to it. Dominic Smith. One jack coming up. Oh, it's up the middle. We got a game. Oh my lord, they're making another pitching change. Oh my god. All right, so Lone Depot Park, Marlins Park, we're gone. We're out of there. We're at the hotel that we're staying at for tonight. The Mets losing a heartbreaker, three to one. Mets performing surprisingly well, despite the fact of how many injuries they have. But um, back to Lone Depot Park. 
We talked to a worker on the way out uh, about the pool that used to be in the Cleveland intersection. Last year I jumped in that pool, or two years ago, we filmed a video there, and um, people looked at me like I was crazy, and then I was like soaking wet, having to get back to the hotel afterwards. But that pool was awesome. It was a characteristic or feature of that park that was uh, a driving factor for people to visit. That pool doesn't exist anymore. They've literally covered it over with uh, concrete and they've put treadmills in it for players to warm up and, and uh, things of that sort. So um, they've lost that piece of their personality as well as taking that home run um, monument or tribute and putting it outside of uh, the park, outside the gate. The worker had told us that um, when the Marlins hit a home run inside, supposedly that uh, home run tribute piece as Mary walks past, <laughs> still actually goes off outside. It doesn't seem reasonable, but that's what we were told at least. Um, but anyway, the park is fun. It's just losing a lot of its characteristics, and I think it's attributed more to like what Jeter wants um, in the park, or you know, to maybe remain more want. like classy, <laughs> or yeah, like Mary said, or doesn't want remain more classy, kind of Yankee-ish versus. Um, attraction based but I think for Miami you really need an attraction based park because the team is only going to draw fans when they're actually winning and or when they have good teams that are coming in that people are interested in so in any event fun trip down to Miami fun trip to the park we'll get back over to the Marlins again at some other point but for now thanks a lot for coming along thank you very much for all of your likes comments and subscriptions Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.